Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the ever-expanding garden, and it is expanding. Let me tell you, today is May 23rd. Last night, May 22nd, I picked up a fantastic tree, a tremendous tree. One that will be a statement piece of the collection, because I don't think I will have it in me to sell it down the line. If, if done right, I don't know, we'll see. But it is a yellow trumpet tree, or better for the more logistical name, if I can pronounce it correctly, it's a Handroanthus chrysolthricus. Rain. Well, welcome back everyone. Thank you for stopping by the ever expanding garden. This right here is the lovely yellow trumpet. That is the nickname it gets. Don't ask me to say the technical name because I botch every technical name on almost every tree. And this is a semi-deciduous and semi-evergreen tree, actually. And it comes from Brazil. That is where it's native. And it just happens to cross over to uh, Florida and hit Miami waters like every other Brazilian. No, okay. <laughs> this is actually a very wonderful tree. I was able to acquire it from a Korean fellow. I believe he was Korean. I hope he was. If not, if he ever does watch this video, I hope it's not an insult. Um, it almost seemed like he neglected it. It was kind of just in the back of his little collection that he had going. And I was super eager because I have yet to see anyone, even from the moment I picked it up, which I think was like three months back to now, I have yet to see anyone with a yellow trumpet in their collection. Um, so as of right now from the people i follow that are big and the individual small artists that i follow locally and around the states kivanchi wants to make an appearance she's looking for a lizard right now um from the artists i know in the states i have yet to see anyone that has a yellow trumpet i'm not saying i'm the the only one but i don't know it seems like most people don't have them uh so i'm actually very excited to have it it looks like it's doing wonderfully in this lovely pot I've actually had to trim it back twice after doing the initial trim and the initial wiring that you guys saw. I actually already had to take the wires off because of how fast it's growing. It's doing quite well. I think it loves this soil mixture, which again is the standard pumice, uh, clay, pine bark, and uh, lava rock. And I've had the chance to fertilize it a couple times, liquid fertilizer, so I guess it's enjoying that as well. Um, and the tree, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see the yellow flowers on them. I, I've very excited to see it. I've had other stuff bloom already during this uh, springtime, uh, but this one has yet to put out anything, but maybe it's because I have had to trim it back because I'm trying to dedicate the energy on these three main branches, especially this one here. The style on the tree is somewhat of a literati style. Well, it is a literati style, but I want the canopy to come into the center here. So that is the goal with the tree. 
We'll see if it works out with this foliage. I want to give it some time. I want to have an attempt at creating this design with this tree because it has this a tremendous trunk with a lot of movement, a lot of great features. If you take a closer look here, this bark is quite amazing. It is like, it looks like it was burnt. It's got like such great age on it and weathering. It's got a nice dead feature over here to the right. Another dead feature up here from, you know, this one seems natural. This one seems like it was cut off whenever they collected the tree and a little bit here as well. So there's a lot of neat features to this. It will last in this pot for probably three years, four years before I ever do decide to officially change it. Um, hopefully by then I would have a really fish, uh, officialized the design of the tree. You know, hopefully this will thicken out and strengthen out as it creates a nice canopy here. Cause it does seem to create a very good canopy. Like when I first got it, it was pretty bushy. Um, but we'll see if it works out cause the leaves are quite big and it doesn't seem like I can really wire each of individual of these. So, if not, we will adapt and change up the design some sort of time later in next year. I want to fully just let it turn into this, see if it works out. So bear with me, stick around to see the journey of this lovely little tree, stick around to see the journey of myself. Um, because again, this is just another beautiful piece in the garden and there's more coming, there's more to be done. There's more in this ginormous head. I was going to say little head, but it's a ginormous head. And um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on some trees I should be getting down here in the south um, uh, or any other cool little unique things you may want to see me try out uh, that maybe I'm not thinking of, uh, please drop it in the comments, leave an opinion, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. If you want to keep up a little more day-to-day -day stuff, check out Jinsei Bonsai on Instagram. That is where the garden gets showcased somewhat regularly, um, not daily, but maybe every other day. So. Catch you guys in the next one. See ya.